Oh, hey, guys. So we took a real hiatus this time. Um, that's so overused now. I don't I'll ever say that again. Please. <laughs> So guys, welcome back to our, what is this, 10th episode of 730 Lectures. I know, you know, it's just like 10 episodes, it's just like two digits, but I'm really glad at how far we've come, right, Io and Renan? Like, yeah, it's, it's been such a long and exciting journey that I'm looking forward to continuing. But most of all, thanks to our audience, right, for um, following our content, watching each episode, and yeah. even we received, like, I wouldn't say pitches, but like suggestions on what new topics we can cover. And that's been really exciting, you know, creating a community around a college experience. Like, it, it's really what college should be about. Yeah, so thanks guys so much. I'm really grateful for our audience, honestly, because you guys are so proactive. You guys are really, like, supportive. Like, even if we're, we're, we're all, like, super sabaw, like, you still tolerate us, you still watch our content. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, so thank you guys so much. You guys honestly inspire us to, like, be better content creators and be better college students. And I hope it's, like, a... Uh, it's something reciprocated to you guys as well. Hopefully, we inspire you guys to, you know, enjoy your college life, strive hard, work hard. But just in case you guys are tuning in for the first time on 730 Lectures, uh, my name's Zach. My name's Ia. My name's Renan. So before we begin with our episode, I just want to, like, point out that a few weeks ago, the Philippines experienced a really terrible typhoon and it uh, displaced a lot of people and it has left a lot of people lacking resources and a lot of people are in need right now so if you guys could if you guys um if you guys haven't donated yet or if you guys want to donate more um, we're gonna be li leaving links in the description on our facebook and youtube channel and um i hope you guys um find some time to also learn about you know what's going on in the philippines right now and also be able to understand you know, what people really need and so you can help in your own ways. So yeah, don't forget to check those out, guys. Now, as you guys know, in Ateneo, we just ended the first quarter and that just marked the first like midpoint uh, for freshman this school year. And, you know, honestly, it's been quite different. You, you can agree, guys, like freshmen have experienced it way different. Like, they didn't have graduation and they didn't experience, you know, orientation in college and stuff. So we're going to be talking about that today. It's been something on my mind, too, actually, like how our freshman experience has been looking back. Um, it has been cut short, yes, by COVID. And but there are a lot of good things that I really miss about my freshman experience. It's been really fulfilling and it's kind of what got me started into wanting to be active in a lot of involvements on campus, right? Yeah, I can I can I agree with that sentiment, Zach. Like I feel like college, especially my freshman year, like the first semester, was really a time of discovery and trying out new things. I remember attending like my first job fair and with my whole business suit, giving my resume. It was like it was, as you said, very fulfilling, daunting also. But then uh, I think these are like necessary life experiences for us to really develop. And you know, guys, I think it would be perfect if we actually hear from one of these freshmen today. And joining us live today is Elias. I'm pretty sure you guys know him too. You know, some of that blue and gold savior and pride. Honestly, Anyways, <laughs> anyway, um, Elias, how's it going? And why don't you introduce yourself to us real quick? And you know, to the, hey, our Owen. audience too. Hi, Elias. Hi, guys. Hi, what's up? I'm Elias Juan, and I'm a freshman at the Ateneo University, Ateneo yeah. de Manila University. Um, I'm, studi solid. I'm studying, you know, BS Management Engineering this year, and yeah. I graduated from Xavier earlier this year through online graduation from the <laughs> <I> IB <do. laughs> <from> the <laughs> Diploma Program. <laughs> So much I saw, I saw that, dude. <laughs> yeah, we weren't yes. able to get stuck in one sport in the sports center and <laughs> in the heat. But then at the end of the day, it's worth it. At least you're stuck in, at home. But then it's not the same. <laughs> I, I'm sure you like, you know, you your batch really experienced like the effects of coronavirus and like the most memorable parts of high school. Like you guys didn't have ball, right? We had grad ball. That was the week before oh, okay. it, Whoa, everything ha clutch, happened. Clutch. clutch. Yeah, clutch. Oh my, <laughs> wow. But yeah, no, you didn't have ORSEM and stuff. You didn't have like, yeah. you don't have physical classes. So like, I know like those parts of college also are like super like memorable for like Athenians and stuff. But prior to like coronavirus happening, like what are your expectations for college? Like, when you were still back in high school, when you didn't know like everything was gonna be online for your first year. Um, well, honestly, I think these expectations were still the same earlier in the year. Um, I expected to go to Katipunan every day, mm -hmm. and um, 
yeah, basically expected to go to physical classes and meet people face to face. But then right now, I don't, I don't think that's possible. Um, I was really hoping earlier in the year, even like March or March or April back then, I really, I was really wishing that we could go to physical classes. But then at that point in time, um, it hasn't gotten better. So I think right now it's more of adjusting. I mean, we're, we're pretty adjusted. But yeah, to online classes. Perhaps like the college experience, right? Were you were you excited for any like joining any orgs or perhaps I'm sure you've heard about things from um upperclassmen who are already in Ateneo. Like were you looking forward to any of those? Yeah, I was looking forward to, to joining the home org, um Maya. But then I'm because I heard that they had a lot of they it was a lot of fun, but then I got, but then um, joining it now, they, they, I think they were able to adapt a lot of their physical activities to online, and I think, and I, that's really, I feel that that's really important to how, the, to keep the college experience still feel like a college experience, even though it's all online. So if like those were your expectations, like what's actually happening now in your academic life? Like how can you like walk us through your day to day, man? Like what's your schedule like and like how you interact with your schoolmates? There's not necessarily a synchronous session every day. It's mostly on it's mostly they just post the modules on Canvas, um, which is basically a site for all the school stuff. And um it's it's a lot of discussion boards which I personally don't prefer over physical classes. Canvas is so, so malabo, <laughs> Yeah, it's so magabo. Like some teachers would grade it, some teachers wouldn't. Yeah. Wait, it's really words. up to your prof. I'm sure all of us, I mean, like even students around the world, they know it's like when you respond to your peers, it's like, oh, I agree with you very much. <laughs> I agree with you very much. Acknowledge. It's not, not, I love your point. <laughs> like that. Bola, bola. Uh, like, <laughs> it's not, it's not that, it, it really doesn't feel like in, in class. And you honestly take more time answering the questions of the teachers because you want to make it, because some teachers grade it, so you want to make it look really good. <laughs> there are a lot of things, right, that go into um, being a college student. And I guess a lot of it also is composed with your social life. So how has it been different ever since COVID started? You know, especially aside from the social distancing aspect, how could you see your social life being different if you were in person? Social distancing, because the distance is from your computer screen to the other's <laughs> computer screen, honestly. Um, so the social life for me, um, I, I'm a really strong believer in, a, in, online, in an online setting. It's, really, it's still really easy to meet people. But at the same time, it's also really easy not to meet people. So I've been you know, elected as the first year development council in Maya. So that wow. basically it's like a batch rep role. So one of, that's, one of my, that's one of the things that I have to tackle. So I, ha- I really have to be able to make these people, even the in- more introverted people, meet other, meet the more extroverted people. Because honestly, a lot of the people that I'm meeting right now, they're, I really think of them as the extroverted types. But then at the same time, I know that I know that I probably have some batchmates that aren't active, like on Messenger or Discord. But then they, but then I'd still want to reach out to them and hopefully befriend them. Because I, College is about networking and making friends, not about studying. Nah, joke. <laughs> in your Discord, like you're the one like in charge of getting people on the Discord and you know just being there every day. Are you like that person? Um, not really. Um, there's someone else in my batch who manages the Discord. It's just that I use it a lot, and they really made lot. it. And those and the people who are in charge of it, like the admins of the servers, they're really good at their jobs. And even though they're not, even though it, it wasn't even expected of them. So, so yeah, a lot of people just go there every day, study together, talk together, even video chat because Discord has video chat now. So yeah, but that's good. Huh? Like you're able to you're able to like manage the online setting despite you know it being kind of awkward. But do you ever feel like uncomfortable like meeting people online for the first time? Honestly, knowing that they're already my batchmates, I don't really feel that uncomfortable. I think the one weird thing long is now when you meet people online, you start asking them for how tall they are. <laughs> Dude, same. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's how tall they are. Why is that a thing? Because uh, you, you don't, you haven't seen them face to face. Like, imagine you see yeah. this guy, you think that he's five, you think that he's five foot long. Because when you see him yeah. in real life, he's a six footer. My God. <laughs> in one of my departments in my org. Dude, like, we were talking about it, nga, like, 
People think I'm like 5'9 or like 5'10. So I'm only 5'7, 5'6, dude. <laughs> so I bet they'll be so surprised. One time we had a guessing game with our prof. Like you're asking them, you're asking them, guess all of our heights. Everyone in this, everyone in this Google Meet call, <laughs> say how tall they are. I was kind of offended know. that he thought I was 5'5, five, five, but I'm 5'7, but then <laughs> it's okay. Um, same, we're s- same height, pala tayo, same height. So since we're assuming everyone's height, I'll ask you another question about assumptions. Like, Let's assume that we were living in normal times. Man. Like, how do you think things would have been different if you were on campus? Like, what's your what would you imagine like in person this time? Ideal college experience, maybe. Well, first of all, I think that I'd be a lot fatter than I am today because there's so much food <laughs> in Katipuna. <laughs> you're right. You're right. There's so much man. food Top in Katipuna. But then at the same time, I still feel that even when we go real life, there's still gonna be a little bit of awkwardness. Like, even though it's already November, there might be a little bit of awkwardness because uh, there's, like, some people in the block who aren't as active or you don't talk to as much. Then, suddenly, you start seeing them in real life for the first time. I feel like the dynamic might have been really different um, since, it was on, since it was online rather than if it was physical itself. Given that that hasn't occurred yet and, you know, everything's still online, I mean, for, like, how many months now? Like, since, since August, September... Everything's been online and like that's only that's your yeah that, and that's yeah second sampa like, like what parts of the college experience are you I guess grateful for where you see things where where you see things meeting your expectations and where do you see a sort of pagkukulang with regards to like the online setting and how it relates to your overall college experience so I guess giving like the pros and cons of everything like based on what you feel like. I think really that physical that online classes is really a different environment from physical classes. Um, I don't, I wouldn't really say that it's a substitute, but it's like a lot of the things are designed not in the same way that physical physical classes are. Like I remember one of the one of the profs that we were asking because there was a we were deciding whether to um push through with endorsing the Ateneo strike if you've heard of that already, um. One of the profs really brought one of the profs that we were asking really brought up that this that the semester and like even the online setting you're not learning as much as you would during physical classes in three days or two days a week for one hour. So I I think that that might be a little bit lacking because it's not it's a little bit watered down because of the online setting. And at the same time, at the same time, I feel like there's a lot of event, different kinds of college events that would have been a lot more fun if it was physical because they were really designed to be physical but then they were just adapted to the online they were just adapted to the online setting but then other than that i feel like i don't think that org culture was super affected it's just except for maybe some niche orgs um na parang na parang my home org still feels i still feel at home with my home org i'm still meeting a lot of people it really it really just the it's really just on how you adapt it and how the upperclassmen can make the freshmen feel um, at home at the college. On a more serious note, being someone who is currently in an online setting, what? and it seems like you're, you're not having a hard time with social life, right? You're making the most out of um, the college experience and being able to adapt to it pretty quickly. What kind of advice would you have to fellow freshmen, right? To be able to make the most out of their college experience also as i said earlier it's really easy to meet people online and it's really it's also really easy to not meet people online and avoid them and stick to your old friends i really think now you can still have both parties you can be friend you can make new friends while still keeping your old friends from high school and and you just honestly have to reach out there's a lot of really nice people online and everyone just wants to make friends in college so i think you should really seize the opportunity before it's too late but I don't. I don't think that there will be a point that it's too late in freshman year. Yo, so like I'm just curious about this. Like, where do you see yourself in four to five years? <laughs> Tricky question. Tricky question. Four to five years. So that's after college, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Honestly, out. If I come out of my college experience, I honestly, do, I'm honestly not exactly sure where I want to go to. I imagine myself working. <laughs> For more experience but then well I'm, I'm only in freshman year and college is the time for discovery so let's see where that takes me but then right now i i probably don't have the most um concrete view of where i'm going to be no rush no rush talaga. for real even i don't know what i want to do <laughs> yeah we also 
I'm still lost, man. <laughs> but I love that mindset. I think it's really about um discovering, um connecting, and you know creating new experiences each day, which is why we created 7:30 lectures also. But yes, Isaac, because we're gonna be next Google, eh. <laughs> next, next Mark Zuckerberg, ganon. <laughs> so thanks so much, Elias. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank yeah, you, thank you for thank you for having me, Zach. Anytime thank you. for you. Also, you, Eo, and Renan. Man, you know, talking to Elias made me really miss the Savior days, and I honestly enjoyed that conversation we had earlier. But that's not all, guys, because we have another person joining us live today, and her name is Iana Aberin. Hi, I'm Yana. Um, I'm from Ateneo. I'm a freshman and I'm taking up BFA ID or Information Design. We're really happy that you were able to join us in this um episode today. Um, we've been wanting to hear how it's like um to be a freshman in our current times, and I guess um like how it has met or not met your expectations, right? I guess that's my first question, right? Like, um, what were your expectations for college before COVID hit? Um. Well, honestly, like, because I have a lot of family members who have gone to Atene as well. And um, I was excited to, like, join orgs, of course, and meet a lot of new people, make new friends. Um, and was I was also definitely expecting that it would be way harder than high school because that's way, like, they're so different. So uh, I'd like to ask now that, you know, everything is now online and... You're experiencing college in such a different way. You know, honestly, like the three of us didn't enter college in the setting, so we just we're just really curious. Like, we want to ask about like how your life is as a freshman during the COVID era. How is your academic life so far? It's definitely difficult to um, adjust. It was really hard for me to adjust, especially since it's super new, like this whole online setup. And um, I think. The hardest part about it is, like for me personally, it's group works because there are a lot oh, yeah. of times when um, we don't really have the same available time to meet. And, oh, yeah. you know, there are just some miscommunications a lot. So, yeah, yeah that's one of the hardest parts. And Have you met your group mates personally, like in real life? Or they... No, no. Oh like, my gosh. Okay. They're, <laughs> they're strangers to me. And... I am like, honestly, I'm a shy person kasi. And I have an easier time talking to people when it's, you know, face-to-face. Because, yeah. I don't know, I just feel more comfortable that way. And But yeah, other than that, like, my academics have been all right. Like, I, I've adjusted na after the first quarter. So Congratulations on finishing the first quarter. <laughs> no, that's you. real. But like, on the converse, you know, because college isn't just about academics, it's also about your social development. Like, how would you say your social life has been in college, given the online setting? Like, specifically, joining orgs, meeting new friends. How's that social aspect been? I know I said I was expecting to join orgs in the start, like, before COVID. But then, when I was um already, like, in it, or, like, starting classes, like, I realized maybe... I can just join another year because I wanted to focus on my academics, my grades, since it's like harder now. But I actually made friends. Like I have new friends now, even though it wasn't easy making them. Like, but uh, I just met them like through other friends. So we've actually become really close, and the the bond is great. So yeah, I think that's nice. In terms of my social life, like it's going pretty well. It's nice. That's good to hear, Naman. Yeah. Despite you know the challenges of an online setting. I wanted to try joining Code, and yeah. also because I'm kind of musically inclined, so I wanted to join a, an org that involves you know music and stuff. Yeah, I've seen those code posters on Facebook. They always have to put we're not a coding org. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From like what you shared briefly shared it sounds like you're having a lot of fun right and like your college experience has been going pretty well but would you say that your expectations were kind of met well making new friends was definitely met but you know being in campus that was what i was looking forward to of course because it's a whole new environment and since i came from an all-girls school like yeah i was just excited to just be in a different place (laughs) and you know just experience a whole new vibe i guess so yeah that's it but i guess um go into like a question about assumption you know we can't really make a lot of assumptions especially if you're in a relationship guys don't make assumptions but <laughs> in this you came from experience sir <laughs> whoa yeah. no but yeah. um but, let, but let's get into some assumptions right now 
at least when we're looking at the college setting. So assuming that you know we were living in normal times, um, how do you think would things have been if you were on campus? And like, could you also predict how it might be like when we go to campus after COVID? I think if we were, you know, if there was no COVID right now, like I think it it would still be hard because there would be different classrooms and you have to you know go from one place to another. Uh, but in terms of the group works again, <laughs> I think it would be way easier because you know you can really just talk about it in front of each other instead of having to look for a same time that you can you know call. But for like in the future after COVID is gone, I think it will be really um exciting. It's like a freshman experience all over again. Since I wasn't in the campus this year and next year I might be. It's like new, way super new. And at least you're entering your quote unquote um freshman year again, but this time with college friends and you know, you already kind of know people, your block, yeah. for example. Yeah, that transition's like, it's going to be weird, I guess, but then it's going to be fresh. And then hopefully you guys, like, you might, like, yeah, hopefully you enjoy that transition. But I'm like, I don't want this to sound like a job interview, but I think it's worth pondering on it. Like, where do you see yourself in like four to five years from now? Well, uh, to be completely honest, like, I am kind of looking to transferring. Um, schools. I know it's like super soon, <laughs> but um, I've I've been wanting to take up architecture, and Atenea doesn't have architecture. Recently, I realized like it's really course over school, and even though Atenea has been like my dream school since I was a kid, I'm kind of looking to transferring to UP, mm-hmm. and then um, hopefully in four to five years, you know, I graduate and take the board to become an architect so yeah good luck with that good luck with that that's pretty pretty ambitious good job good job it sounds like you've been having a lot of fun in college and it's going pretty well for you a lot of dreams that you're hoping to achieve so what advice would you have for fellow college freshmen out there or like incoming college freshmen um i guess number one thing i have to say to them is that they're not alone because Throughout this whole online setup, I had a really difficult time because, you know, when you're in the physical setup, it's like you have your peers and you guys can struggle together <laughs> throughout the whole thing. Yeah. Um, and I'm not saying I don't have my family. You know, my family supports me and they're always there for me. But yeah, I just want to remind them that they can always just reach out to people that they're close to or even just their um, block mates because I think that's really how you form a bond. You know, you just... You just talk. You guys just talk. And they just have to remember to manage their time well. <laughs> and that they'll eventually be able to adjust no matter the circumstances. So, yeah. That's great advice. And super thank you for making Cuento with us. Uh, super chill <laughs> long. But you really learned a lot. And I hope our audience learns a lot as well from you. And shout out to Tiff for um, helping get <laughs> Yana on the show. Thank, thank you, you so much. Me. Thank you. Damn, guys, hearing those freshman stories and like what they said, it just made me really remember freshman year, how good it was. Don't you guys feel the same? Yeah, yeah I, feel, right. I feel. But I think it's kind of unique also, right? It's what the current freshmen are going through. It's not something we've experienced, especially, you know, meeting your new friends, classmates over Discord, right? Seeing what height they are and stuff, figuring that out, you know. That was not a thing when we were in physical school, so... It's kind of like it's kind of like a mixed bag, I guess, when it comes to like what people are experiencing. Like some of it's like really funny, some of it's kind of sad. But then overall, I really hope that you know all of our listeners right now, you know, experience college and maximize it to the fullest. Even if you know everyone's just at home and stuff. So, I mean, even us, like we're experiencing college in the online setting as sophomores, and it's it's it's, it's not that easy. I mean, like it's not the mo- it's not the most desirable either for us. So. You know, we really see a matter of, you know, pushing ourselves. Yeah. But, you know, that's why here at 730 Lectures, it's our, I guess it's like our mission to create content, right? That inspires yeah. fellow college students to live each yeah. college day differently, right? I guess that's it for our 10th episode. And we're really excited thanks, that you guys joined us today. And yeah, thanks so much. And we hope you tune in to our upcoming content as well. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Peace.